Alright everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we'll be printing with another glass fiber filament from Bamboo Lab. This time, it's the ABS glass fiber. So last week as I was preparing for the live stream, I noticed that they have added ABS glass fiber. So I went ahead and ordered a roll of it and thank you Bamboo Lab for getting it here within a week so that we could test it today. Now I went ahead and dried a roll of this in my printer at ADC for 12 hours as is suggested on the box. So today we'll go over what um, ABS glass fiber might be used for. Um, we'll go ahead and print a couple of things and we'll look at Bamboo Studio to see if we have to run the beta again like we did last week. Now, last week, uh, the morning that I uh, released my video on the PA6 glass fiber, they released the update for all of the um, new filaments. So we'll see if ABS glass fiber was included in that or if we have to do something special to do that. Now, if you've been around the channel for a while, you know I'm a huge fan of ABS and ASA, despite the smell and the fear and everything that goes along with that. I really, really like printing with it. I love the durability of it, um, the strength of it and everything like that. I have a full wood shop upstairs and most of the stuff that I print for there, I print out of ABS or ASA. So when I saw the glass fiber filament, I was very, very excited because I really, really like ABS. And to add some more strength and some more durability, as well as chemical resistance to it, was a big plus in, in my book and will be the probably the go-to filament that I um, use from here on out depending on how it runs today. Um, so in today's video, we'll go over the website, we'll go over um, Bamboo Studio, any special things that you need to do other than um, you know, the RFID. We'll take a look and see if it's compatible with the AMS. We'll look at nozzle size recommendations and everything. And then we'll get to printing and we'll print one of our Nimitz Benchies and maybe something functional from um, the website. So. If all that sounds good, then sit back and relax and I'll get everything ready. All right, here we are on Bamboo's website for the ABS glass fiber. And I will say for the engineering filaments, 30 bucks is not a bad price for it. That PA6 uh, glass fiber was much, much more than that. Um, so not a bad price at all. So let's take a look at what they're um, saying is the features of this. So enhanced strength and stiffness, um, which is great because ABS is already pretty good at that. So any uh, better at that will be good. Uh, greater dimensional stability. Um, so we'll take a look at what they mean by that. Um, if you're having problems with warping on ABS, then this ABS glass fiber and the dimensional stability might be great um, for that. Water resistance, durable. Uh, it comes with the high temperature reusable spool. I don't know if you've seen the new ones, but they're a dark gray. We'll take a look at it when I take it out of the printer um, <clears throat> versus the light gray that they were before. They look pretty cool. It's a cool color. Uh, again, most of these engineering filaments don't recommend the 0.2 nozzle. Anything with fibers in there doesn't recommend that small of a, a nozzle. Uh, enclosed printer required, again, to um, decrease the chance of warping, you really need to maintain the chamber temperature. And this is where it does get a little bit confusing. Um, AMS light compatible. So the A1 and the A1 mini are not enclosed printers. Um, so if you do have those and want to run this, you need to do some sort of enclosure for it. And I'd be really careful with that because this is one of the filaments, um, ABS and ASA are one of those filaments that are really... Uh, susceptible to changes in chamber temperature, right? And a lot of people have problems with warping on there. This one with the, them claiming dimensional stability being better uh, might be a little bit better at that, but I would uh, exercise extreme caution with uh, DIY and closed uh, enclosures, especially with ABS. Um, but we'll see about the glass fiber if that's any different. Other things that they're um, showing here is this is that IKEA organizational wall, the SCADIS or whatever. Um, so it's, you know, showing the hooks and, and different parts for this wall as being something that you might want to print with this. So maybe we'll print something for the honeycomb wall as a test for this and see if, uh, it works with that. 
All right, so strength and stiffness, making it perfect for load bearing and bending resistant parts. So that would be really good for these hooks and everything, right? You don't want stuff to bend. And here it talks about the stiffness and strength as compared to ABS, which ABS is a really, really strong, durable filament. So any improvements to that are, are really, really good. Now here's where it talks about the dimensional stability, right? And the warping, I think we've all seen this on the edge of our prints. Um, and glass fiber is supposed to help mitigate that a little bit. So that's really, really good. Uh, functional gear prints is with most of the engineering filaments. We'll see that. It's got a matte finish. Um, you know, here's another really good use case for this. Um, you know, if it's bend resistant, then, um, you know, shelf uh, holder would be a really good uh, thing to use that for. And they even use it for a scraper here. Um, water resistance was another thing that they had mentioned there. And you'll see that they made this little shelf, um, that goes in the shower. So if you're looking for something that goes in your shower or in a place that's going to be, um, damp all the time, um, then ABS glass fiber, something that, um, I would recommend for that as well. And here again, it does say the 0.6 recommended on the nozzle need to use the hardened steel. Please don't buy any other nozzle. I don't think you can right now, but don't buy any other nozzle than a hardened steel. Here we'll see some more differences between the PA6 glass fiber and the ABS. And we'll see the stiffness, not as much as the PA6. We'll see the differences between those. And then a couple more recommendations for the print settings and everything, which we won't be changing any of that, hopefully. Um, and then, you know, the drying recommendations and all of that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the filament wiki and see if there's any additional information in there. And we'll scroll down and they have already added the ABS glass fiber. Um, not recommended in an open frame printer. So again, the AMS light compatibility is kind of weird um, because the only ones with the AMS light are open face. So it doesn't, it says it doesn't do that. So let's look at the 0.2 nozzle it says no. And it says yes on everything else here, but it doesn't have like the highly recommended like it does with some of the other glass fiber um, ones here. So that's pretty interesting as well. Everything else seems to um, be the same. Um, recommended for the AMS and the AMS light. Right? And it doesn't make any differences between that. And then hardened steel. Again, just buy hardened steel. Don't buy anything other than the hardened steel nozzles. All right, so everything looks good there. So let's go ahead and get it out of the printer, get it loaded into the AMS, and then we'll get to printing with it. So I'll see you back in the studio. All right, so let's go ahead and get it out of the printer here. A couple things. If you don't have one of these uh, spool cover things, um, to do this, you can always just cut the top of your box off and put that on there. The other thing is, um, let me get this out of here. Don't throw away these bags and make sure you open it on the Ziploc end. These are Ziploc, so whenever you're done with the filament, you can put it back inside and then seal it up and put it back in its box and um, that way it won't get so much water in it or whatever um, so two tips on there just cut the top of your box off if you don't have one of these covers and uh, dry the first one that way and then immediately print out one of these covers so you don't have to do that again and then make sure you're saving these bags and make sure you open these on the right end so you don't open the other in and make this bag useless. So let's go ahead and get it out of there and get it loaded in the AMS. All right, so here we are in Bamboo Studio. And one thing to call out is if you can't find um, the filament showing up here as an option or whenever you load it, it's not doing that whenever you sync it. You need to go to this gear 
Um, first, you need to look down here and see if there's a configuration update. Hit the update if, if it's needed, and then you need to go and select the filaments um, that are in there. So as you can see, I just downloaded um, <clears throat> Bamboo Studio, and these filaments that are unchecked did not download with the newest version. Bamboo, that's stupid. I had to, on a brand new version of Bamboo Studio, I had to click the little uh, details next to the configuration update for these to show up. You would think if you ordered or if you downloaded the newest version of their software, it would have their in there, but I had to take the extra step and do that. So pay attention to whenever it's telling you configuration detail update available. What it means is you can add more filament profiles. Why they don't say filament profile update, don't know. Um, but you'll see for Galaxy, Dynamic, and um, you know the PVA that we used the other day, all of these, um, you know, need, you'll need to go in and select on the ASA arrow, that new one as well. So it's good to just select all. I don't know why you would ever not want to select one of these. Um, that one's another kind of weird one, Bamboo, but we'll go ahead and get it selected so that ABS glass fiber is in there. And now we'll go ahead and sync the AMS. And you'll see that we have the ABS glass fiber in there now. And you know how much I love ABS because in slot one is the role of ABS. That's so funny. All right, so let's get a Benchy loaded and um, see what that comes out like. All right, so we have our Nimitz Benchy loaded in here. Um, so what I'm going to do to change to the ABS glass fiber filament, for those of you that are new here, is I'm just going to push the number two. I think I'll need to reselect it, push the number two on my keyboard, and that's gonna change it to the filament that's in the second slot. So if I hit three, four, five, six, seven, eight, it's that easy to change the color of the filament. Um, so we'll go, ahead, or the filament type in this case as well. So we'll go ahead and um, you know, get this printed with the ABS glass fiber. Um, normally this takes about an hour and 15 minutes to an hour and 20 minutes. Um, let's take a look at the max volumetric speed is at 12. So this is probably going to be in that hour and 20 minute range. Here are all the settings. I haven't uh, changed any of this stuff at all. Um, whatever the RFID sent over is what has been put in here. All right, so let's go ahead and slice it. And we'll see hour and 22 minutes kind of on, um, you know, the longer end with the slower volumetric, volu max volumetric speed. So let's go ahead and get this printed out and I'll see you when it gets done. All right, so let's take a look at the Benchy. I don't know why I did the flow calibration on there. Um, you don't need to do that on the texture plates. Um, much like uh, we've seen with the other glass fiber filaments, it's not as smooth as like normal ABS is. Um, I did have a little bit of layer uh, defects right here on this overhang, as well as on that overhang that might be because I did this, but I didn't change any settings on this or anything like that. But as far as like the overhangs and everything like that, everything printed very well. The, uh, you know, how accurate and everything, all of the little ships and everything are, or the little planes. Everything is very, very accurate and uh, printed out very good. Um, but it is just not as smooth as like normal ABS. And here's the normal ABS in yellow. And it's much, much smoother to the 
to the touch and it's a little bit slightly different color of yellow this is a brighter yellow which might be of interest to you guys out there um, if you're trying to make something warning or something easy to find um, out in your shop or whatever which is why i picked this yellow color is to print things that would be easy to find all right so now let's go find something to print for our honeycomb wall I'll see you back at the printer or at the computer. All right, so here we are in Maker World <clears throat> and I was looking for some shelves, tool holders, different things like that. And I came across um, this one from All Things STL. Um, <clears throat> so this is pretty good. And I think this would be a really good use case um, because of the increased stiffness and everything like that. These are kind of heavy things that'll be mounted to your honeycomb wall. So having something that doesn't bend and flex and everything when you put a couple of these on there would be pretty nice to have. So I went ahead and downloaded this model. So here we have the model in Bamboo Studio and you'll see it's really cool, it has these little honeycomb uh, <laughs> pattern in here to put all of your tools in and everything. So I thought that was really cool. Um, and this is how it came through whenever I uh, clicked open in bamboo studio so let's go ahead and see how long it's going to take to print and this time i won't do the uh, flow calibration on the pei plate so a little over an hour so not bad at all um, so let's go ahead and get this printed out and see what it looks like All right, so here it is finally printed and we did see the eyeball eyeball finally uh, fall off. That's pretty funny. Um, but this printed out pretty good. Um, it does have a little bit of flex in it, but nowhere near as much as other stuff that I've printed does. It fits perfectly on there and this will be a good use of this ABS glass fiber. I've been thoroughly impressed with it. It prints really, really well. Um, <clears throat> looks like it'll be very strong and sturdy and and everything like that and we went over all of the benefits of it um so you know i would highly recommend this it's uh you know not that expensive if you need that extra strength uh, material i definitely get this um, i can't say enough about the abs and the abs glass fiber is just that much better um, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to smash that like button. Uh, join us on every Saturday evening for the live stream and show us what you're printing. And uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next week.